What's up, everybody, and welcome back. We got very few matches for this match day, and I'm not sure if MLS is calling this match day 31 or if it's just a random match day. I know that a couple of them, or maybe just one of them, are makeup matches, but before we jump into those matches, let's jump in to the nerdy dashboard. So, up there in the top left corner, we are showing that I am only getting 44.3% of the outcomes correct. Not bad, but not good. I wanna be closer to that 50% mark, but I think that we did a little bit better last year. But I will say, right at that 7% for perfect matches, both scores and the outcome correct, I think that's pretty good. I, I'm not gonna lie, I think that is a good stat. I think that if you could get closer to 10%, that would be good, that would be fantastic. But I'll take 7% on the perfect matches. Then, over to the right, we have the times picked and the times that the team won. So I've picked LAFC 21 times to win, and they've only won eight. So maybe I need to start going against them. I don't know. But that just shows you, you know, St. Louis, I've, I've picked 18, and they've won 11. Columbus Crew 17, and they've won 12. Atlanta, well, Cincinnati, I've picked 16, and they've won 12. But then you have, like, Atlanta. I've picked 15 times, and they've only won 7 of those 15 times. So some of these are bad, like LA Galaxy. I've picked 11 times, and I only won 3. Over down here, Toronto. We picked Toronto to win 6 times, and they've only won once. So some good, some bad, but that's what happens here. No one can predict the MLS. No one can predict what every match is going to be. So there's that. And then I think what... I am most excited for is seeing this power ranking. So this is my power ranking. This is nobody else's. This is my formula that I came up with. I think I say that every time. But just to let you all know, this is my power ranking. So I have FC Cincinnati, number one. Philadelphia Union is coming in second. Orlando City, Revs, Columbus Crew, then St. Louis, Atlanta United, LAFC, Seattle Sounders, and Minnesota United round out the top 10 there for the MLS in my power ranking. I know some of those might be by surprise, but I take a look at everything from, you know, you get more points for away wins than home wins. So it's a, I, I can make a video breaking it all down if that is something you are interested in on that nerdy side. But let's go ahead and jump into the current match day. So, first up on the slate for this weekend is DC United versus San Jose Earthquakes. Currently, DC United are one win and four losses in their last five matches, where San Jose Earthquakes are one win, a draw, and three losses in their last five matches. DC United are coming off a big win against Chicago Fire, four to nothing, and San Jose came off of a draw with Minnesota United at home, one to one. They are playing at Audi Field. I think that San Jose are a little bit better team. I know that San Jose is sitting 8th in the West. DC United is sitting ninth in the East. But I, I think that this game, I, I can't pick between the two. And I think it ends in a 2-2 two -two draw there at Audi Field. So that leads us to Inter-Miami versus Sporting Kansas City. Currently, we know Miami have won a whole bunch of games in a row. But their current top five are four wins and a draw in their last five matches. And Sporting Kansas City are three wins and two losses in their last five matches. I think Sporting Kansas City have looked really good in their last two matches. And then we know Inter Miami and Messi are killing it. But I'm pretty sure they're without a lot of players this weekend for Inter Miami because of international duty. So I'm going to have to say Sporting Kansas City go on the road here. And yes, I'm saying this. They go on the road here and they win this match. Two to nothing over Inter Miami. So for one of the makeup games, we have Minnesota United versus New England Revs. Currently, Minnesota United are two wins, two draws, and a loss in their last five matches, where the Revs are one win, a draw, and three losses in their last five matches. Both teams are really good this year. You have Minnesota. Minnesota, though, are in seventh there in the West. So they've had more of an inconsistent season where the Revs are second in the East as of right now. They are playing in Minnesota, and I I don't know why, but my gut is telling me because they're playing in Minnesota, it's going to be the same score as they did the last time that they played in Minnesota, and Minnesota's going to win this game 2-1 to one 
over the refs. So for our second to last match, we have Portland Timbers versus LAFC. Currently, the Timbers are one win, a draw, and three losses in their last five matches, where LAFC are two wins and three losses in their last five matches. Uh, they lost 3-1 to Miami at home uh, this past weekend. And really, at one point in time, they should have been up 3-1. to one. They just could not finish against Calendar. He, to me, he is the best goalkeeper right now in MLS. But besides the fact on that, they also lost to Charlotte on the road. Then Portland, they drew with Seattle last weekend, 2-2 two to two there at Lumen Field. I do think that LAFC are the better side, and I actually think that they go on the road here to Providence Park. Yes, I'm going against what what we were you know saying earlier there at, on the dashboard, picking them 21 times, but I think that they win this match 2-1 to one over the Portland Timbers. And last but not least, we have LA Galaxy versus St. Louis City. Currently, the Galaxy are two wins, a draw, and two losses in their last five matches, where St. Louis are two wins and three losses in their last five matches. These two teams played before in St. Louis, and it was a one-to-one -one draw. And I think that that might repeat itself. I would say that St. Louis go in and get the dub there on the road, but they have been inconsistent recently. I mean, just in their last five form, it goes loss, win, loss, win, if it can, and then loss on the fifth game. But if it would continue, then yes, they would go on the road here and win this if that was the, the pattern. But I don't think that they do. I think that they go into Carson and get a point there against the Galaxy with a one-to-one -one draw. So that is it for the video. Please comment down below who you think is going to win, if you think that my predictions are all right. Also, let me know if you are interested in seeing the formula that I have for the power rankings, and maybe we'll make a video on that. But Please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you like the content, and we will see you in the next video.